Well hello again and welcome back once more all my vintage dirt bike loving YouTubers and thanks once again for taking the time to tune in to my increasingly popular classic dirt bike TV channel. Now as I continue to scour my video archives to bring you more of those old dirt bike classics from back in the day, in this feature clip we are going to take a look at a machine built by Paul Balsili. So stay with me for the next few minutes as we take a brief look at a very nice Triumph Matisse 500 Special. Now this bike is another of the quality classic machines built by Paul Balsili of Balco Motorcycles. Now the bike is basically a Rickman Matisse frame kit which Paul has uh, fitted a lovely Triumph twin 500 motor into. Now as you know these Matisse frame kits are of very high quality and uh, Matisse can build these frames to take uh, Triumph uh, BSA matchless and many other uh, popular uh, power plants. Of course you can then get the frame painted in whichever colour uh, takes your fancy or you can either have the frame uh, nickel plated or uh, as in our particular case here uh, chrome plated. And of course along with the frame Matisse also supply all the associated body panels, tank, seat and uh, which you can then also paint in whichever colour uh, you require. Now the motor is a classic Triumph 500 twin uh, power plant although this engine has had uh, some nice uh, upgrades to give the bike a bit more uh, grunt in the horsepower department. Now the motor is a high compression version of the legendary Triumph 500 twin. Now the bike also has uh, a pair of very highly developed race cams fitted. Now the motor also is uh, supplied with a 31 millimeter Makuni carb and this is uh, quite well suited to feed the fuel into that uh, Triumph twin motor and this engine has also been converted to an electronic ignition affair which was uh, supplied by Electrex. Now these particular clips and uh, pictures were taken at the recent uh, 2020 Telford Classic Dirt Bike Show. Now this very unique uh, Triumph uh, Matisse combination uh, built by uh, Paul Balsili was causing quite a lot of interest over the course of the two days and uh, Paul builds some very unique classic motorcycles and when you buy one of Paul's machines you are buying something uh, very unique indeed. Now this particular bike's uh, colour scheme may not be to everybody's uh, liking although it's certainly of a very high quality and Paul tends to specialise in these uh, very unique colours on many of his bike builds. Now these Matisse uh, GRP fuel tanks are uh, in my opinion just uh, works of art in their own right really and of course these fuel tanks come uh, with the entire uh, Matisse frame kit. Now Paul in this particular case has chosen this cream uh, metal flake colour for uh, his brand new uh, bike project but uh, as I mentioned earlier uh, the colour scheme may not be to everyone's taste but uh, each to their own uh, that's what I say. Now Paul's Triumph Special is fitted with a pair of these wide bodied classic rock shocks which of course are supplied by rock shock suspension in Wilstead Bedford uh, and they're made right here in the UK. Now these guys can supply suspension systems for any make, model and configuration of classic uh, or vintage dirt bike and uh, 
of course these uh, rock shocks are of uh, excellent quality as I uh, actually used to own a pair of these rock shocks on one of my old uh, dirt bike machines and of course these rock shocks can be custom made to your very own requirements and uh, I'm sure that these uh, suspension systems will work very well on this beautifully uh, chrome plated uh, Rickman Matisse frame now on Paul's machine a new uh, brake lever and pivot had to be uh, manufactured for this machine and also on the Triumph casing you can see here that uh, part of the casing has been removed as this was no longer required with the bike now uh, being changed to electronic ignition. Now the front forks are almost certainly Italian Seriani units although uh, I'm not entirely sure about the front hubs which actually look like the old Maiko hubs that have had the cooling fins machined off them as these are used on many reproduction dirt bikes including uh, old CCMs. Now as you can see Paul's machine already has a full lighting kit already installed so there's so much more you can do with this bike even after daylight hours. Now I have covered uh, one or two of Paul's uh, previous machines on my YouTube channel before. Now you may remember this uh, very nice uh, 475 BSA Victor Matisse that uh, Paul put together a few years ago. Now this is just another one of the fantastic projects that uh, Paul builds. Now the motor in this particular bike has had some very nice upgrades and uh, far too many parts to mention in this short clip but uh, just to give you an idea of the quality and the kind of machines that Paul uh, puts out on a regular basis and once again Paul's uh, unique green flake colour scheme on this bike. Now these Triumph Matisse frames uh, of course don't have any sumps for holding the motor's engine oil as uh, this is housed in the frame which was uh, when you think of it a brilliant piece of uh, engineering when Don and Derek Rickman first designed these uh, beautiful chassis. Now as I mentioned this is the high compression version of this 500 twin motor with those beautiful two uh, upgraded race cams. Now this bike was actually advertised for sale at the show so if you think you may be interested in this particular machine then if you give Paul a bell on this uh, number he will be able to supply you with uh, much more uh, details about this uh, very special uh, Triumph machine. But this Balco Triumph Matisse is certainly different from the normal run-of-the-mill Matisse projects you normally associate with these special builds but it's still nice to see something different and unusual as we like to feature all kinds of off-roaders here on my classic dirt bike TV channel. Now we still have many classic off-roaders still to feature in the coming weeks and months so I hope you will continue to return to see more of these vintage dirt bikes and also possibly just to subscribe to my channel. So once again thanks for uh, watching and be safe riding those motocross motorcycles and we'll speak again very soon. This video was brought to you in association with Worldsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more information.